Welcome, welcome, welcome to a whole new episode, a whole new guest. We have Emma. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> She's so awkward. Today. Emma's um, young and shy. Yeah. yeah. We're old and shy. <laughs> and some yeah. context, she's uh, Morgan's younger sister. She came with Morgan for her first trip to yeah. India. She's also uh, from Delsant, which is kind of great. Friends of the family. GBR. Yeah. GBR. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But to be honest, if you weren't at Denison, you'd still come to India. You know, it's, it's like, it's a it's a good to have. It's not mm-hmm. like a... It was a have. Yeah. Um, which is interesting. Thank There's you. clearly like an identity dynamic here, but like you kind of like float two sides of it. I do. It's just, I love making friends, so yeah. kind of... We love to hear that. Yeah. I think that's an amazing <laughs> attitude to have. Yeah. Yeah. How well, are you? I'm glad to hear. Yeah. Thank How you. are you liking India? Um, I actually really love it. I thought I would have, like, a lot more of a culture shock. Um, just because, like, I've never... I've only been to Europe, and I've never, like, traveled around Asia. Um, but I've really enjoyed it so far. Yeah. Like, I love the food, culture... The weather has been um, kind of yeah. new for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, Diverse. Yeah, it's just like a lot of diverse weather. Um, but I've I've really loved it. I honestly wish I spoke Hindi so I could move here. Because um, I also want to teach you. No, I think because that's how I can find my husband. Mm. Um, yeah, I've yeah. Very yeah. much enjoyed it. I, you were saying that it wasn't much of a culture shock for you and stuff, but like speaking to you and like just like getting like gauging your mind and stuff like that like i just feel like you're so aware Mm -hmm. of your surroundings and that's why it's not a shock to you because most people come here and like they don't know anything about the culture and then they're completely lost and like it's so refreshing talking to you especially because you're like much younger than us Mm -hmm. but like you're so knowledgeable and like you can't get over the fact that you're 2001 born yeah i can't she's 2001 22 (laughs) That's, That's young. Shocking. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, it's really nice. Like, it's it's just like, it's refreshing to see younger people. And then uh, again, like, because we're from different parts of the world and like yeah. you haven't seen what India is like, let alone like, whatever, like not Asia, let alone India. But like, I just like, it's fun talking to you because like, it's a, it's a fresh perspective to thoughts that I already have. Yeah. Right? No, I've, uh, I really, like, enjoy our conversations, because ba- my background is in anthropology, sociology, and black studies, and so it's been really interesting looking at, like, cultural aspects and, like, systemic aspects in India, and being able to talk to you guys, where it's, like, a real first-hand experience of these, like, issues or experiences, I guess. Yeah. Um, so it's been really cool. I feel like I'm learning a lot, and I've really enjoyed it, and I think part of like my identity kind of thing is like I'm highly adaptable Mm. and I think that's also why I really enjoyed being here because it's kind of like it's definitely a place where you just go with the flow yeah Yeah. like you you can't really have like structure you've got to just be able to like yeah because even even when you try to have structure like there's something that's going to be the you yeah yeah that's 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 Natasha's biggest pet pet peeve Mm. about India is that there's no structure yeah and she tries to build structure everywhere (laughs) Even on this trip, you must have seen. <laughs> yeah, because I want them to have the best experience because they're not going to come again soon. Yeah. Except for Emma, who's moving. Yeah, basically. <laughs> TBD. <laughs> She's going to figure it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. maybe we'll, we'll get my job but, sorted out. Well, I think one of the funniest thing about em, uh, things about Emma this trip has been is, uh, and like my context to Emma is really interesting because I've seen her through like three different stages of life. So the first was like when I went to Morgan's house. Um, my sophomore year, my second year in college, and Emma was an eighth grader, and I slept. Aww. I slept on her bed, kicked her out of her own bed, and slept on a tiny pink One Direction um, <laughs> cushion. Which, fun fact, if anyone wants to really seriously stalk my page, it's still there. It's like post number ten, probably. Really? Yeah, it's all the way down there, but it's still there. It has four likes. <laughs> And, uh, and at that time, Emma was One like, from you, yourself. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, yeah. I did. I used to work for eight years. Uh, <laughs> where I'm like, mm, it's not even. <laughs> Gotta get the engagement yeah, up. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, and at that time, you know, she was a really like quiet, reserved, mm-hmm. like kid going through like teenage angst. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rightfully so. 
Um, and then I met her when I was graduating college and she came for our graduation and she was a whole other person, like super yeah. talkative and like excited about Denison and, and college and things mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And that's when you were in high school. Mm -hmm. And now it's like post college. You yeah, know? I'm like an actual adult. So yeah, it's a full <laughs> jump. It's like, it's so strange. Yeah. Um, I can't think about this too much. It freaks me out. <laughs> um, <laughs> the concept of time. He started, he started, he started such an ugly like, I, I know. Felt, I first met Emma when she was an eighth grader. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her now; she's graduated college. Yeah. Like, so it's it's okay. like I don't understand age and years. You know, it's like oh yeah. Um, yeah. And then uh, she she's always the one with the most energy. So she'll come into any situation with the highest energy until it's ten thirty. Mm. Because she is the first one to peace out. Like throughout it's the trip, so funny. she's the first person to fall asleep, and that's so fascinating. And it's not like it's not like she's like had too much to drink and then she's gone off to sleep like she hasn't passed out yeah. she's just tired yeah. Yeah. Like her little baby body is like yeah. not anymore yeah. which is kind of nice because like I feel like when you're straight out of college and even your years in college you're you're such a party like animal yeah right mm -hmm. it's cool I like it thank you I like thank that you, you get sleepy well you you have to have the balance you can't always be yeah. on yeah on yeah. yeah and the reason I like it is because I don't think we have that energy so it's good that like yeah. you're not expecting it from us. Yeah, even for like Natasha and I, this week has been such an exception to our lives because mm -hmm. we don't just like drink and party every day. Like it's yeah. it's basically like a whole year of like stress yeah. that's like off our shoulders. Drinking the stress away. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and it's like and our, it's stress. literally our like first <laughs> vacation effectively. So which is why it's like it's been like something that we're just like constantly like hyped about because yeah. this is it that like we're going back to our new lives yeah and the real is, life which is gonna be fun but it, it's gonna be sobering for a while yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I might have to take up daily drinking mm -hmm. um, we'll, we'll figure mm -hmm. that out <laughs> unless Emma moves in with us <laughs> I think she'll expedite that process <laughs> um, but so it, anyway yeah. should we get on to the meat of the episode yes cool so because Emma loved India so much that she wants to move back, mm -hmm. um, we thought, why not make her try some of like the snacks that India is famous for? And maybe if you like them enough, then you'll have one more reason to come back here. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So Fingers I'm going gonna, gonna to bring them to you one by one. Okay. What do we want to like hear from her? As in? Flavor profiles, thoughts, oh, rate yeah. on a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah, I think rate on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay. Um, definitely talk about like what you like about it and why yeah. you hate it. And, uh, I hope I don't think I'm going to hate anything, personally. I'm I think you might. pretty sure you're there's, there's one in there that's going to throw you. I know I already hate one thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, it's fine. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. ready yeah. Okay. Do you want to explain it? No. Okay, so when I first saw these, I thought that they were some like sweet treat girls. Yeah. Because they kind of look like little cinnamon rolls. Yeah. 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 And then Tasha said that they're like sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. Um, but they look just like cute. They smell good. <laughs> they smell. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't really. I think we have to set context to what they are. So, so Emma just like so ate Emma just picked up a. Ba Bakarwadi, Bakarwadi, which is like, um, I mean, I'm sure our audience knows yeah. what it is. So Bakarwadi is a lentil it's... snack, it's fried, um, <laughs> it has a bunch of flavor. It's, it it's, got, of... it's stuffed with like a mix of masalas, which has like, um, cinnamon, cinnamon, cumin, cumin salt, yeah. fennel. Salt, fennel, and sugar, sugar, and spices. I actually am really into these. Yeah. Um, I, w I, I do want to say this is probably not the best one you'll ever have because this is just like store bought, store -bought mm -hmm. but it's yum if you have the real one. I think for me what threw me off was that initial like bite flavor where it's like because the inside is definitely the more flavorful yeah. part. Yeah. Yeah. So on the outside I was just like I don't really know who she is and what she's doing but on the inside I, yeah. mm -hmm. I was into her. You want to have one Aja? And I like the kind of spice. Like afterwards, yeah, it's like that sweet. It hits later. Yeah, the sweet original and like the yeah. spice after. Mm. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'm not the, the best one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not mad do you, at it. Do you eat this often, Natasha? Mm -hmm. No, but when they're there, I love to eat them. <laughs> yeah. All right. And they remind me of my childhood. Next one. 
Oh wait, I'm gonna rate that one. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna go seven out of ten. I think that's the safest yeah. number. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It, it wasn't bad, and it could have been better. So yeah. I was happy. I was Same. I was content. There's a little like residual heat that comes. Yes, yeah, so I like that a lot. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Natasha's feeling mm-hmm. it. Make me sweaty, yo. <laughs> okay. So now this is, it's called masala balls. Yeah, it's the Cheeto stuff. Yeah, it's, it's the, the Cheetos. Cheetos. Not sponsored. Indian. Right? So yeah, that's the funny thing. Like all these like big companies, like global companies, will come to India, mm-hmm. and they'll Indianize the flavors, their own products to mm-hmm. Indian concepts. So like this is actually like cheese ball. Yeah. But they've like removed the cheese. So yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be real. Cheese balls, mm, top ten snack for me. Yeah, I I, love cheese balls. I will, I will fuck up a cheese ball. (laughs) So I think that's good. This one's gonna be hard for me to. Wait, I just want to give a disclaimer. I'm so sorry. (laughs) Emma's sister Morgan is sitting here, (laughs) and every time Emma says something mildly fucked up, (laughs) Morgan looks up from her laptop. She's like. I'm used to it. Um, <laughs> it inspires me to be best. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Get a get a good one with good lots one. of masala. Uh, I don't remember what it tastes like. Me neither. I'm not like excited about it. Um, it kind of is like too like lightly fried for me. I like it when there's a bit more yeah. like crunch. The overall structure of it is actually kind of weak. Yeah. Like I feel like if I just like were to lick it, it would like yeah. disintegrate. I feel like they taste a different when you would lick yeah. it. Yeah. Thoughts on the flavor? Changed. The flavor is weird. Fine. Yeah. Just about okay. Yeah, because like I know that masala is like kind of a stranger flavor for me. But like either there's other masala stuff that I like, I've really enjoyed. But this one is just like, I feel very underwhelmed, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. unimpressed. I feel like she, she needs to do better. Yeah. Um, she flat. Flat as fuck, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> I just like. I'm learning Chinese. Since slang. since Emma's been here, he's just been asking her to teach her like three new slangs every day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Please stop. It's so funny. Like Emma says something, and it makes absolute sense. <laughs> then I use the same adjective, and it's not right. That's incorrect. And I'm like. But you used it, you know, and it's like, mm. I was like, what do all the rules? It's intuitive. It's just intuitive. Fuck right off. <laughs> Don't try so hard. It's it, not a good look on you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next one. Um, to be each two out of ten. Two out of ten. Yeah. yeah. Fair. But, yeah. Fair. This I feel like the next one's also not, not gonna be the best. Oh. So. She looks familiar. Them? It looks familiar. Okay. So. No, explain. So we have some soya sticks here. Um, soya like soybean, mm-hmm. and then they make them into these like chippy kind of things that look like this. But like the, again, these are like the, the prepackaged, and like a larger food, la- larger chain, a larger company produced one. So mm-hmm. it's not the best. Mass produced you know, ones. Mass. That's the word. Larger I'm company. For. And That's the word I was looking for. So yeah, it, again, it's not the best, but okay. I want you to try it. It's about the experience. You yeah. know, nothing will ever be perfect in life. You just gotta go with it. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that this and tofu are the same thing? It's the same core ingredient. Mm-hmm. Soy. Soy. Everybody in India loves to call it soya and not soy. Yeah. Soya. Yeah. To me, there's. I'm enjoying it more than I enjoyed the masala balls. Um, but I just don't feel like there's a lot of flavor. Mm. I mm. like. It comes back at the end. I like the crunch. Yeah. I think it's like a fun thing to eat and like it's a fun little like they're like little snowflakes you know yeah. they're all different <laughs> and I think it like needs more more yeah I'm underwhelmed it's not giving it. it's not giving it's not giving it's really not it smells really good nice. so like I expect it to taste good but I feel like it doesn't taste good it's right? like it smells like that because there's all of them together, mm. but it's like when you just have the one by itself, it's like mm. you're not really smelling, you're like tasting yeah. that smell. Yeah. I'm, it's I don't, not that bad though. It's not that bad. I really, I don't mind it. I just wish it had like more of a seasoning. Don't let Natasha influence your judgment. <laughs> no, no, no. Because I, I enjoy like how it is. Okay, and you know what? I feel like the problem with our snacks is that the, the flavor is not spread equally. Mm-hmm. 
And yeah. so you get some which are like yum, yeah. and then you get some which are completely bland. Yeah, it's like I'm trying to find a yum one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see, that's what happens. Because mm -hmm. I got two that were good. What's the rating of this? I'd say like 6.5. Oh, interesting. Because I think if it had, if it if all of them were like that, like one really yeah. good one, yeah. I'm yeah. into it. Yeah. But yeah. because they're not, I have to deduct some points. And I need some <laughs> structure, I She's guess. Like, I love it. Judge Emma. I love it. Okay, perfect. Um, should we go sweet for a bit? No, I think that's going to F me up. You want to do all the series first? Yeah. Yeah, because then it'll be like I finished my meal. Uh, there's, there's fun history with that one. Okay, that. okay let's do this first. Okay. Okay, so this is called Vai Vai. Uh -huh. It's actually not Indian, it's Nepali. Ooh. And it's an instant noodle that they make, but Vai Vai can be cooked in three different ways. So you can either like cook it like you would ramen and mm -hmm. like do it with water. You can eat it like this, the mm -hmm. way we're gonna feed you, and this is, in my opinion is the best way to eat it. And then the third one is microwave? I don't even know. There is another way. There is a third way. But it's, uh, it's already pre-cooked. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's not like you're eating raw dough. No, you just like add water. Yeah. No, but like mm, no. it's already so cooked. This is cooked already because they've made it and then they fried it. Oh. Yeah. And then like it like comes with that like the typical like taste maker and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But it also comes with an oil which I haven't put in it, and it comes with some chili which I haven't put in this either. We just like to snack on it like this, mm -hmm. but you can cook it in water and have it like ramen. And sometimes you use it as toppings on curry. Oh, yeah. to add like a little crunch. 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 Yeah, like in a cow suede. Yeah, this reminds me a lot because Morgan and I grew up on ramen, and when I, when there were moments when we would just like get the ramen out of the bag and then crush it up and then yeah. put the seasoning on it. Yeah. So the vibe and aesthetic of it is it's similar. Is yes, it's yeah. childhood ramen vibes. Yeah. The thing is, I feel like raw ramen noodles will give you like a stomach ache if you have too much of it, but this one you can just have a bag full in your bed. Uh, it probably did, <laughs> to be honest. I just blocked that part out. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it tastes, it, the crunch is just like a little ramen. The taste. I'm like, are you not getting enough of it? Yeah, I think like going the way I did. <laughs> it's a good. It's like a child ASMR. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> um. Mm. No, I'm not. You know, it's it. kind of one. It's kind of one note for me. Mm. I like the crunch of it. Mm. Oh, a little aftertaste. It has like kind of like sour, like lime -ish. It's a little like there's like umami to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Meaty. I like yeah. the aftertaste a lot. Yeah. Um, and I think if it had like the chili oil and stuff, I think <laughs> no offense. So the to oil, Tasha. the oil is like onion oil. I think that's okay, like, that's that, a bit much though. To have it raw, you can cook oh, it. Oh, I have guess. It. I yeah. guess like yeah. And then the chili is really spicy. Like it's just chili powder. It's not chili oil. So it's just like chili. Powder. Yeah. It's yeah. It's hella spicy. I'm trying to save your ass. <laughs> <laughs> me putting you on blast after this year's putting you. know me, my spice tolerance is low. Alright, rating? Yeah. One last final taste of it. <laughs> what are you trying to influence her for? Like, no do you get brownie points or like high points for bye bye? I would just like think if this was on the table, I wouldn't I wouldn't be drawn to it. Mm -hmm. So five? Yeah. How did you oh, know? Who's influencing? I'm trying to move the <laughs> sort of. <laughs> cool. I'm just like too much. I'm yeah, let I just introduce, introduce these. Okay, bitch, I know these are going to be so fucking good. Yeah. So these are Lay's chips, but in India, what happened was in one of the World Cups, um, Lay's did a 2008. Food, 2008. They did a campaign mm -hmm. where they renamed all their flavors based on the countries that they No, they didn't, they didn't rename flavors. They introduced new flavors and mm -hmm. they renamed like two. So there were different flavors that were added, as well as renamed. So like the, the sour cream and onion is called American. American. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I saw that. Um, so this is a, a chili lemon. What is it? Sweet chili. Sweet chili, chili. Sweet chili, chili. and something. But because we none of us know the names because we call them like the West Indies chips, like the. Mm -hmm. I just call it orange lays. Yeah. Because <laughs> the packet is orange. orange is 
So this is like by far one of the most like popular. Like we both love this as our favorite chip, and then I like the American. Natasha doesn't. You don't like the American ones? No. Do they like, like they do something to my palate. Like they cut my palate. I feel it's fair. Or my tongue. I don't know. Not a but yeah. These are amazing. Okay. You guys have really hyped them up. So I'm get the big, big one. This one. The monster. Okay, not really any mm -hmm. smell, but no, okay, smell this. Hmm? Maybe she's cold. Mmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm tasting. Mm -hmm. it's okay. This kind of reminds me of a, um, the like chili Dorito. You know what yeah. I'm talking about? Like the purple Dorito? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chili lemon, sweet chili lemon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love that one actually. Yeah. Get a get a good one. With the one that's a lot. <laughs> no, I really like this. Does it slap? Yeah, it hits. It hits. It hits. It hits. It's like Fuck. hitting. <laughs> I got two slangs right today. No, I'm gonna send you back. I'm gonna, gonna send you back with whatever. The fact that you call it a slang though. Yeah. It's like we have to <laughs> cancel. No. Um, I really like these a lot. Rating? I just like dying to eat one. Um, I'm gonna say like eight point five out of ten to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, I love like the perfect like sweet and spicy. Yeah. I like, good crunch. I think it's great. Cool. On to sweet things. Yep. Or do you want a little drink? Yeah. Yeah. Let's palate cleanse with the drink. All right. Okay. Cool. So, we're in Goa. Goa special. It's port wine. I feel like it needs a stir. <laughs> our, pro our producer, Archie, our kind of producer, needs a stir because like the ice has melted. Yeah. So um, my thing is, I know what this is, and it does not look so, like what it so is. So I, <laughs> Emma and I went shopping, and I saw the port wine, and I explained what it was, and I was like, it's a sweet wine, and she's like, oh, like sherry, and I was like, yeah, exactly, like sherry, and then we poured it out, and it looks like diet coke. Yeah. It's still sweet wine. It's really potent, like I think forty percent alcohol, and you get them in like little, <laughs> like little, little like pouches. plastic pouches. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I mean you do also get them in like plastic bottles. <laughs> the pouches. Okay, and yeah, I'm obsessed. With I that. honestly don't have enough knowledge as to how it's made, so I'm not gonna tell you anything. It's usually like a concoction of multiple wines put together. No, I could be wrong. I, I had friends who used to make it with like in college and stuff. Really? Yeah. Mm. In their vodka? I yeah. Don't know. Is it like prison wine or like like a sandwich? I honestly yeah, I never even questioned it. <laughs> it's just they yeah. just like put it on the party. It fucks and you're you like, up. I'll drink that shit. Yeah. You get this it, one of the better known brands is called it's called One Thousand. It's like this little like roundish bottle with a yellow label on it. It's for like five hundred bucks, a thousand like a liter of wine and it destroys you like is it like best way to get drunk like buzz ball energy i don't know what that is buzz balls are so effing good you know it kind of is like um wine in a carton the carton wines oh uh, yeah box wine like what you would drink in high school yeah. go ahead enjoy <laughs> is it good it's I'm good fucking with it <laughs> Yes, it I'm is good. I'm gonna be turned the fuck up tonight, y'all. That's perfect. Oh, it's like <laughs> Morgan's just so embarrassed. Morgan is like, so disappointed. Like, like B roll of just like a reaction <laughs> shot. Like just like keep a camera right on Morgan. The whole time. No, I'm, I'm telling like, you, this me being here is living out my dream. Um, I really <laughs> like that. It the fact that it's so high in alcohol and it does not taste mm. like. Like shit. It actually, it doesn't taste bad, it smells funny. Do you want to try it? It smells not that good. Do you want to try it? Yeah. Morgan wants to try it. Morgan's trying some. Yeah, let's, let's get it, a reaction. It does not smell great, but. Emma, this is like nail polish yeah. for a Coke. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's straight up like if you take grapes this and is, like rotten. This is 20, 22 year olds like this, yeah. <laughs> that tracks. Yeah, I am 22, freshly out of college. Yeah, it's like. A very strange 
flavor. Yeah. But I'm into it. Yeah. It's not bad. It's no, like, it's not bad. Because I, like, would drink, like, tequila with the, like, um, little, like, sombrero on it. So, right, right, right. You know, so yeah, it's like yeah. this to me, I'm like, this is luxury. It is luxury. We had pretty shit alcohol in college. Like, horrible alcohol. So, does yeah. that make sense? No, it's like, if I, if I could drink a Four Loco, like, I couldn't drink that. Rated? 9.5. <laughs> Damn. I can't wow. go 10 out of 10, like, that's kind of <laughs> fucked up. But like, 9.5. Emma leaves India and rates Port Wine the highest. <laughs> Oof. That's saying something. All right, we're moving cool. to our sweet section. Again, I'm I'm going to struggle to define what this is, but I'll try. It's a golden dessert called Bibinka, and it's basically like coconut, jaggery, perhaps some other things, and then they like make these sheets of it, and then they layer it together. That's the most uh, ominous description. How do you, like, what is I it? have no idea. It's made of coconut. You can smell it. No, I like smelled it. I was like... It looks like guanciale. Like a little like... Viewers. I thought it was like rotten banana, to be honest. Oh yeah, I see that. And then I remembered what it was. I just, I want to like, let you know though, that this may not be the best one you'll ever have. Again, because it's a store-bought yeah. one. I've had good ones, but I'm not a fan. Yeah, I do not like this. Yeah, I George really doesn't like Okay. I love coconut, so that's why when Natasha brought this up, I was really excited. The texture... Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can I just try it? You don't have to be side. kind. It's alright. I don't really don't want more than this. It has the texture of a Twizzler, which I hate. You know, it's not bad. But the flavor, I enjoy. Mm-hmm. But it's the texture for me that's really irritating. Try it. It's actually not, it's, surprisingly not bad. Isn't it like, it's giving me like, it, it bad a, pancake. No, it has a the flavor is similar to like a, a mass produced rum cake. Like vanilla y mm-hmm. and mm. Okay, I did get a bite that kinda of tasted like a wet dog. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah. I like it though. Okay. Really? Mm. It's nice actually, it's spice. I think it has like cardamom in it. Yeah. I don't think it's bad at all. Um eight. I was thinking 7.5 because um, I don't know how much of it I could eat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like if someone gave it to me, I would be like, oh, I'm gonna kill myself. Yeah. Like yeah. I would be like, okay, like this is like doable, I can do this. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I okay. feel about it. I'm gonna give you a palate cleanser because that was really sweet. Mm-hmm. So just back to the chips for a second. Our girls. I'm good. That was really sweet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, I kind of want to re. Oh. Let's give you another drink. Okay, I, I, I'm I gonna go and edit one of my, what I said about the chips. I would probably say like a 9, 9.5. Okay. It's almost a perfect chip for me. Yeah. It's pretty good. After going back, it like did what it needed to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Serving purpose is important. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> cool, so this is badam milk. <laughs> At the store I was like, almond milk, and then she was like, it. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, it's not actually almond milk. It's regular milk, like cow milk, but then they put like soaked bananas in it. Uh, not bananas, sorry. Snook, smoked almonds in it. Soaked and almonds. Soaked, soaked almonds, almonds okay. in it with like sugar and again, some like probably like cardamom or saffron. And then there's a little bit of like sliced almonds in there as well. Okay. It's called badam milk, which translates to almond milk, but it's more like it's a... Good. It's, it's actually, it's truly milk with almonds. Yeah. It's an almond flavored milk. Yes. Yeah, it's not milk yeah. from almonds. Yeah. Which right. is just water. BT which does. is water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, does it smell funky? No, 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 no. Yeah. I was just, you know, I was trying to like prepare myself. No, I don't think it smells funky. It I smells see. like rice pudding. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Actually it does. <laughs> <laughs> that it's was so nice offensive for her. She, the moment she took a sip, it just like <laughs> gag reflex. Gag reflex came in. <laughs> no, um, it tastes like condensed milk. Okay. Yeah. With with like slivers of almond. Yeah. Mm. Does it give you like horchata vibes? Mama, no. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, no. no. You ever had horchata? Mm-hmm. No. 
I mean, I think in his defense, we haven't had this since we were kids. Yeah, I haven't had it. <laughs> I just like really, really don't like the almond. It's too sweet for me. It's too sweet. I don't like the almond in it. It like mm. is really actually making me like irrationally upset. Okay. Because it's like when I go to drink something, yeah, I you don't, don't want to bite it. I'm exactly. not trying to crunch. So you, are you not? Are you not into boba? No, I love boba because I. But that's chewy. It's chewy, but it's like this is like crunchy, mm. and it's like it just. <laughs> mm. It's not serving. We have, we have a friend who doesn't like boba because she gets scared at how big the balls are. She <laughs> just like it's a joke. joking, yeah. Uh, I totally is. Yeah. Oh, whatever. I believe that. <laughs> um. No. Like a two. Like That's, um, you're being too nice. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Natasha, you like it. I think, I know, not this no. one. I think if this was in like coffee or something, yeah. like it would be good as like an added for like a little flavor, but not by itself. Honestly, I like it. Yeah, see? Yeah, I'm not a fan. It'll be good as an ice cream. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I could totally do it as an ice cream. Yeah. Do you need another palate cleanser or should we move on? Let's, Let's move, move on. on. Okay. I'm ready to so try So here's just some biscuits. Okay, this is the um yeah the one with the chocolate mm -hmm. filled inside, and then Emma picked up the other one. I've seen a lot of ads for this one. <laughs> it's just like a Cadbury chocolate cake thing. Yeah, the ads make it look better than it actually is. That's what an ad is supposed to do. Yeah, but like you work way, with marketing way that's better, you know, like way better than it actually is. That's a really good ad. <laughs> <laughs> if this had like milk, yeah, not that milk. <laughs> But like yeah, milk. Regular. Yeah, I could do. You wouldn't be upset. No, it's too sweet for me though. Mm. Like, no, I'm not really liking it. Okay, you can leave it. I'm sorry to the British people. <laughs> um, this actually, no, I'm not. So this thing's gonna throw you off. I'm warning you beforehand. It's a sugar cracker, yeah. like a sugar biscuit. It's like two Ritz sugar crackers. Like yeah. If, if Ritz had like sugar on them, mm -hmm. and then cheese in the middle. But they say it's cheese. It's not. So this is kind of like when in the States we have the, um, I think it's like Keeblers or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't but it like a Ritz cracker that they also do cheese? It's the, it's the, the shape is like a Keebler. But like the cheese, it's like a cheese cracker with yeah. peanut butter in mm -hmm. it. Those go so hard. I love those, which is why I was really intrigued by yeah. this. Because yeah. it's like, it's not real cheese, but <laughs> I the smell of it is really... India's, yeah, it is really like honing into that like fake American cheese flavors. <laughs> I've noticed that there are a bunch of things that have started coming out. Yeah. <laughs> She's fascinated by the texture. Yeah. Okay. You like it? Yeah. She's so happy. Yeah. I, I actually love this thing. This is really good. <laughs> uh huh. Mm. Mm. It feels absurd to give it a 9 out of 10. Mm. <laughs> but if it needs it, it But it for me, it's it. kind of a 9 out of 10. Okay. I think that they're not doing like enough of this yeah. in the world. I actually, so better than the biscuits are the wafers. Yeah. Those are like, they, they have mm. the same like filling. Mm -hmm. Those are so good because mm -hmm. like it's the, the texture is better and then you taste lesser of the biscuit mm -hmm. and taste more of the cheese. I will tell you, I like the biscuit, like the actual like texture of it threw me off for sure. Yeah. Um, but I love the taste of it. I like that you're like honing into like saying biscuit because like biscuits be more different. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, you say cookies. Mm-hmm. Or cracker. Or cracker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just can't help it. Like I'm just so multicultural. <laughs> I'm just like straight up communion. I just love to adapt. <laughs> Okay, final thing. Final thing. Um, wait, can I get someone to pour the wine? Pour wine in. Yeah. Palette cleansing. Palette cleansing. 14% up. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a cleansing, it's sanitizing at that point. <laughs> okay, so this is called Serudura. Again, something very like common in Goa. Mm -hmm. And it's a layered dessert of like Mari biscuits. What are Mari? Are they still Mari biscuits in America? Yeah, like a shortbread. Like graham cracker? Yeah, graham mm, cracker shortbread. No, but graham cracker is more like digestive biscuits, right? Anyway, it's the same. Some vibe. sort of biscuit okay. which they crumb up and then there's like 
a cream condensed milk and something mm-hmm. filling and then again just like layer them and they put up on top as well it's like a it's like a golden version of a tiramisu i guess you could oh. say that but it's not soaked or anything it also is kind of like cheesecake vibes yeah 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 that's like this crumb coating is like yeah. cheesecake yeah can you yeah i need two hands for this oh. girl it's a two handed task oh okay it's yeah it's really soft. smooth really soft um <laughs> say more okay. it's a, it's a podcast okay so it tastes like marshmallow filling okay um i haven't had celery in so long yeah it is almost offensively sweet oh no <laughs> yeah it's not good she's describing it so well <laughs> it tastes like marshmallow fluff. It's super sweet. And uh yeah, light. Yeah. If ooh 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 it, ooh. It needs to be like chilled. This is wrong. It needs to chill. A chilled bit. or with like if you had it kind of as like an angel food cake with like um like strawberries or with that cake that you've been eating for the last two three <laughs> okay. nights. Don't air me out like that. <laughs> Um, yeah, Nan's birthday cake. Like, <laughs> yeah, the, I'm not. Me and Ethan are the only people eating it. Um, <laughs> That's why it's so perfectly cut. <laughs> yeah, Emma comes and fucks it up. <laughs> and then he's like, he's like, he just like, he goes every night and like cleans it, the shit out of it. And it's like, <laughs> saying, I try my best. Um, no, I think that that's kind of the same thing with the almond drink. Mm. Is that like, it needs a friend. Yeah. By but itself, it's again, too much. I've had better ones. This is horrible. This is wrong. So I'm sorry that I put you I, It sounds like I have to come back to India. Yeah. I it sounds so. like that. And on that note, guys, <laughs> we've hit 40 minutes. Oh my god! You've heard Emma. <laughs> Emma's throat and saliva for the last 20 minutes. Um, Should we give them one final ASMR? Of what? What's your topic? I'll give you some food and then you can speak. Okay. Her topic is. The chips. Yeah, give me the chips. I can't really do ASMR with a drink. <coughs> okay, guys. You can. You can go. Yeah. You. I hate <laughs> the sound of gulping. <laughs> I'm cutting this up. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> all right. On that note. On that note. Thank you, Emma, for coming all the way from America to for our wedding. Uh, I actually, I came just for this podcast. Oh, yeah, I know that. I, you don't yeah. mean. I didn't give two shits about the wedding. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough. Um, <laughs> um, and, uh, and yeah, thank you for joining us. Yeah, I think I've loved having you here, but I just loved it more because he feels youthful again. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. I can't He's wait. like 29, what? Yeah. I'm 19, bitch. <laughs> Let, let's see how this episode does. It does well, then we'll do a Gen Z thing. Otherwise, we'll yeah. just like very... Yeah, yeah, just like hide me. Yeah, it's fine. Hide you, Everybody so. does. It really depends. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Oh. Okay. Thanks, All right. guys, for Thank having you. me. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.